On average, I receive over 100 emails a day, and that's just from one of my many inboxes that I manage. Given the fact that you've clicked on this video, perhaps you're also struggling with emails crowding your inbox on a daily basis, and you're not sure if you'll ever get to clearing your inbox entirely. Well, what if I told you that achieving the mythical inbox zero isn't just a pipe dream? That's right, it's totally achievable, and not just for the super organized among us. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can go from waking up to this, to going to this with a few tips and tricks as well as how you can utilize our AI powered tool Magical to write responses to your emails so you don't have to. Let's dive in. So first things first, what we're going to do is create labels. Labels will serve as categories so that when an email enters into our inbox, we can categorize it into three different sections such as awaiting response, follow up and read. So let's go ahead and do that. To do so, you're going to head to the settings icon in the top right hand corner and you're gonna click on see all settings. You'll be met with a few tabs at the top. And so we're gonna click on the labels tab. Here you can see I've already added a few labels prior to this video, but for the ones that we're going to add, what we're gonna do is click on create new label. A rule of thumb is I'm going to add a character that isn't a letter so that it goes to the top of the chain because it does follow alphabetical order. And I'll click on create and then I'll create the others and get back to you. So now that we have our labels created, let's add it as some spunk with some color. So to do so, I'm gonna click on the three dots to the right of the label, go to label color, and let's give a waiting response a red. For urgency, let's give follow up a teal color, and let's give read a nice dark green color. So it already looks pretty snazzy right now. Now what I wanna do is add multiple inboxes on our inbox interface so that I can see what is categorized in a better way. So here I'm back in my messy inbox, which is why I desperately need to achieve inbox zero. I'm gonna click on the settings cog again, and then you'll see the multiple inboxes function here, which I can click customize. Now, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and started creating a few sections so that our multiple inboxes can be configured. Now that we have it here, I'm gonna just show you how to add one for a label that you've created. So I'll type in label and then put a semicolon and then I'll add the exact name that I gave to the label. So the last one here is read. And if you like, what you can do is also add a section name. It's optional. It will just show it in the fashion in which you already have it. But I like to ensure that it doesn't have those uh, additional characters. So I'm gonna click on save options, but before I do that actually, you, I would like to see it on the right of the inbox. So I'm gonna click on right, and then click on save changes. Okay, fantastic. So it's taken us back to our inbox, and as you can see on the right hand side, I have it categorized in three different ways according to the labels. And let's say I just wanted to add one of these things to awaiting response, I could just drag it over, or I can click into it or right click on it and then add a label. And let's say I wanna add this to follow up. And as you can see, it's adding uh, the particular emails into the respective areas. If you want to remove it, you can just add it back to the inbox or you can remove it from the particular tab that it's in. Better yet, if, you, if it's something that you don't need to follow up on or wait response, you can just click on the delete option, which I will show you how we can do in bulk. So let's say I want to bulk the leak or bulk archive emails so that they're not in my main inbox. To do so, what you can do is click on this checkbox at the top of your email inbox. And as you can see, it's all going to be selected. Now this is selected all 24,000 emails. Yes, I get a lot of emails. And so it says all conversations on this page are selected. If I do wanna select all of them, I can do that and I can clear everything but there are some emails I want to get to, so I'm not gonna use this option. So let's just say I wanted to archive some of the emails in a particular search. For me, I'm gonna to go to Hilton because they send me quite a few emails as well. And I am part of their honors club, but let's just say I don't wanna have these emails clogging up my inbox. So I can click on this option and then I can bulk archive all of these or I can bulk delete all of these. And this is a quick way to remove emails from your inbox without having to click each particular one by clicking each checkbox is gonna take you a lot of time. So another way to achieve inbox zero is sometimes you just really have to respond to an email. So as you can see, I just received an email from a coworker asking me to grab a cup of coffee to discuss a project. Now, what I could do is reply to this email on my own, but who wants to do that, right? We have AI technology and we're gonna use Magical AI's reply feature to instantly send a response. This is a quick way for us to achieve inbox zero. So with the AI reply feature, I'm presented with three options. I can click on yes or no, or if it's a more 
intricate response, I can customize and tell ChatGPT to write a response or tell Magical rather to write a response quickly for this email. But because it's a simple response, I can click on yes and Magical in seconds or maybe less than seconds here, um, I'm able to respond here. This seems good enough. I can go ahead and send this email and now I don't have to worry about that email anymore. Now let's consider another feature that Magical provides. If we want to respond quickly to emails, we can use the template feature. And to do so, or to create a template, you can simply click on the icon here, click on templates, and then create a new template. So perhaps my coworkers often ask me to get a cup of coffee. I can do a trigger here so that anytime I want to use this template, I can use this function. I'm gonna use something weird like yes, coffee. I'm gonna use the EISS feature to respond. So as you can see, I also have different tones which I can use, which is casual, professional. Um, let's just go with professional for now and let's do that. So as you can see, Magical is going to create this email here and I can tweak it as I like, but let's just use it as is for now. Notice it also provides a placeholder so the person's name will automatically be added. So I'm gonna save this, close it off. And then when I'm ready to send this email, rather than using the AI reply feature, which you can do, I'm gonna use the template feature by using forward slash forward slash, or if you like, you can also use that talk, toggle on the right. So I can either write with AI assist, or I can look for the response I just created, which is coffee, oh yes, coffee. I can write the person's name in here, so I know I'm talking to John, click insert, and there you have it. My template is already activated inside of my email. So if you wish to achieve inbox zero, another thing you can do is unsubscribe from those email newsletters that you no longer want to be subscribed to. So what we're gonna do is use the search term and type in unsubscribe. I'm gonna click search and unsubscribe. And then as you can see, you'll see all the emails that you can unsubscribe from and you'll be presented with this option to click on each one. So that is one way that you can achieve inbox zero. So the last thing we want to do here is look at how we can report emails as spam so they no longer show up in our main inbox so that we can just go to the spam folder, highlight everything and then bug delete. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to my main inbox and let's say I want to report this email as spam. What I can do is select it. I can select it right here and then click on this warning icon and report it as spam so that it no longer shows up in my main inbox. And sometimes they do come back. However, if you do it consistently, Gmail is going to recognize that behavior and recognize that this particular email is going to the spam folder and you will no longer get it after a period of time. So those are six quick ways in which you can start achieving inbox zero. So I have a quick one for you. Why did the email go to Gmail therapy? Because it had too many attachment issues. <laughs> Okay, so I hope these tips were more reliable than my jokes, but hey, achieving a clutter-free inbox isn't a myth anymore. All it takes is a bit of magical help. And remember, an organized inbox is a secret spell for productivity. So if you've enjoyed unlocking the secrets to email mastery with me, give that like button some love and hit subscribe. We've got tons of content on AI tools and productivity habits that will turn you into a productivity wizard in no time. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.